Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a kind of different video than I've done in the past. So I've done a few acne foundation routines this past year or so and I have a very 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 highly viewed one. I think it's my most viewed video is my full coverage foundation routine um, with like drugstore products. So I thought I'd recreate that video but using the tips that I've learnt within this year you know with similar products so I'll use like hold on, let me just turn the brightness down so I thought I'd use the similar products that I've used but in like different techniques that I feel are better than what I used in that video to create a similar finish so a flawless base but without the cakey look that I feel like I had last time my skin is quite acne field at the moment so I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do it so if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look with similar products but different tips then please keep watching. Hey guys, so as we can see, my skin is playing up a little a bit. It's not as bad as I did, it was in my last video, like my top viewed video that I talk about in the intro, but it's still pretty bad, so I thought it was a good opportunity to recreate the video with the tips I've learnt now. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of combine a few different other tricks I've learned. I'll use mostly similar products. There will be drugstore, most of them, so you guys can afford this look. Just, you know, so it's not too expensive for you where it's like, you know, crazy. So, first of all, I am going to prime. So in my last video, I talked about like moisturizing everything and that is good. I usually just do that now when I've cleansed my skin I'll moisturize like half hour before so that it doesn't make my skin too oily because I am oily and if you do have acne skin you you tend to have more oily to combination skin rather than on the dry side but I mean in saying that you can have dry skin and still have acne so yeah I'm gonna be doing more of my oily routine if you guys are more dry then just add more dewy products that you feel work best for your skin. So in saying that, I am going in with like the most expensive product. Sorry. But I just find this works so well. It keeps me matte throughout the day and it helps. Like I just find it doesn't break me out guys. This is fantastic. I think it's because it is more high quality it doesn't break me out. But all I do is I just spritz myself in a little T shape and the X as well. And let it just kind of soak into my skin a little bit because like I said, I am oily. This slowly activates throughout the wear, so it doesn't just work all at once at the beginning and then you get oily. It kind of just slowly releases, so it keeps you not oily for a longer period of time. Next, I like to go in with a couple of primers. I just do a couple of, a couple of squeezes of my 100% pure mattifying primer. I don't know if I use this in my other video, but I know that this just really helps keep me matte as well. And it's also enriched with a lot of antioxidants and things to help the skin. So that's why I like to use it just to kind of protect my skin against the other products that I place on top. My skin is extremely inflamed and it's quite red. I have a lot of redness and stuff. So to hide that, I like to go in with my Urban Decay primer. I've used this in my other videos that I've done with my acne. I just find it helps so much to reduce the redness. I'm going to use like the color corrector and stuff as well but this just helps to give an all even tone to my skin, hide my pores and just dull this inflamed redness going on on my face and a little goes a long way so you don't need too much. Just a lot of work. And I focus it on my pore areas, but also anywhere that I have the acne and discoloration. And bring it a little bit on my neck as well, where I've got a, just a couple breakouts. And I just let it kind of soak into my skin, because you can see I look kind of white at the moment. It's just kind of sitting on there. Let it soak in and do its thing, and then I move on to foundation. Okay, I feel like it's settled in enough now. As you can see, it's like totally dulled down any redness like on my cheeks. Uh, it's dulled down the acne spots and scarring. Blurred my pores. It just does the job. It's so good. Next for a non-drugstore product again. This, I think, 
is my last one. Or wait, no, setting spray is my last one. So it's only a couple, but the rest of drugstore, guys, I promise. So the next is my Laura Mercier powder. I just like to do a light dusting on my forehead T-zone area, not on my acne scars because it just dries them out. This part is for my oily skin. So if you guys don't have oily skin, then you don't need to do this step. Take a little light bit like that and I just literally lightly press it on my forehead, down my nose. And just around any areas I feel might get a bit oily, but it's literally just a light light dusting so you don't create that cake face from putting powder before liquids that's all I do I don't do any more then I go in with my setting spray and just spritz a couple of uh, spritzes over my face just to lock that powder in place and kind of get it ready I feel for like the foundation it just locks it in I do the spritzing a few times through the routine to create that long wearing feel the long wearing base so because my breakouts are so angry and red, I don't like I can't really get away with just foundation at the moment. They're just a bit too red. Like they've dulled down a lot from that primer, the um Urban Decay one, but they're still really red so they you can see them through the foundation, like they're quite grey in tone. So I always like to use a colour corrector when I'm going for full coverage when my breakouts are so inflamed. So I used this one last time and I'm going to use it again just for the sake of like kind of recreating the video. There are so many colour correctors out there guys. I just really like the NYX one because it is drugstore and it works like a charm. So what I did last time, which I'm not going to do again, I just find it's unnecessary. I just covered the whole thing in green. Whereas nowadays I've learnt and I find it works better and it stops the cakey looking mess. Is doing, just scrubbing a little bit on the brush. One second, where's my mirror? I need to be prepared. So I grab a little bit on my brush and I just kind of dab it on and actually blend it into the skin. And by just using it, you only really need a little bit. I went a bit ham on it, although in saying that, my skin was pretty bad back then and it did the job. But like, I, it covered them up, you know, really well. I just had a bit of cakey lookingness, but I didn't mind that, to be honest. Like, that's one of those pimples covered up. So I'm literally just using, as you can see, such a light layer. You can use your fingers if you want. I just prefer to use a brush to stop the bacteria spreading and causing more breakouts. And you want to make sure you blend it in so that it doesn't peek through the concealer or foundation after. You want it to be quite blended. It'll colour correct it. It'll do its job basically, even when you blend it in. It'll still do its thing, so don't worry about having it super pigmented. I just use whatever's on the brush on my nose area because I can kind of get a bit of redness there. So I just kind of like to cover that up so it looks more even toned under my foundation. And there we go. See how I've got a light layer of that green and it's kind of just softened the redness. So now we, when we apply our foundation and concealer and stuff, it won't be showing that grey undertone there. So before I apply the foundation, I'm going to go in and conceal where I need to over the breakouts. You can do this after you've put your foundation on. I just prefer to do it beforehand so that way I don't go as heavy handed on the foundation which I can tend to do when I can just see it there. So I'm going to take my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Wind which is super close to my natural skin tone and my foundation shade so that it doesn't like highlight the breakouts. Make sure guys when you're picking your concealer out don't use something that's highlighting on your breakouts because you're just going to highlight those instead of just trying to make them fade into your natural skin. And I'm just going right off the bat, just going over those breakouts. I won't conceal my under eyes yet, I actually like to do that after my foundation. I'm just concealing where we placed that um, colour corrector. And then see how I've got it kind of just sitting on the skin? I actually won't bother blending that in until I've applied my foundation. I just don't see the point. And it just saves time just doing it all together. And also by letting it sit there for a little bit longer, it's actually going to kind of start to grip to the skin. It won't move as much as if you blended it straight away. And it kind of loses a bit of its coverage. I like to let it sit there for a little bit while I do, you know... Usually I'll do my brows or... Well, right now I'm talking to you so I'm letting it kind of sit into my skin. So for the foundations I'm using today, I'm going to go in with two. 
I, in my other video, I use the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, and a lot of you guys commented saying that's not great for acne, and like it breaks them out, breaks you guys out. And I found I don't remember from what, what, I, what I can remember, I don't think it broke me out. But if it's not great for acne skin, I kind of just let it go. I haven't really used it. So my go-to's lately have been my Milani Conceal and Perfect Two-in-One Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. This one is fantastic, it's full coverage, it doesn't look cakey on the skin, you don't have, it can be buildable if you want to, but I like to just kind of try and keep it more, like less is more kind of thing. And I also mix it with my Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the shade Creamy Beige. I like to mix these two together, the Matte and Poreless creates a beautiful finish and it does, it kind of gets you with my pores, whereas the Milani one's my perfect shade and I also like the finish. It's not it's not as matte either, so I don't look like a doll, like a porcelain doll. So I like to just kind of mix these two together to create the perfect finish. And guys, when applying the foundation, try and keep a really thin layer on the parts that you don't need the coverage. So I always apply a little bit more over the breakout areas, but on my pore areas, forehead, nose, I keep it like a thin layer of foundation so it doesn't look cakey. That's like my little trick I've been doing. Just so my, it looks more like skin and less like you've just, you know, applied a whole heap of product to your face. As you can see, it stops the whole greyness peeking through the foundation. Like it looks more even toned having the colour corrector there and everything. Concealer underneath just creates it more one tone. Okay, so next I'll conceal. I actually just kind of like use the product. I kind of keep it under so I can blend upwards. If you apply too much product on the, uh, under the eyes, it it cakes up and you can have more obvious creasing. So I keep it underneath. And just do that little kind of triangle. Sometimes I'll conceal my lids, but today I'm going to do an eye tutorial after this. So I'll just leave them bare for that purpose. But while I let this kind of set into my skin again, I like to let it sit there, do its thing. So what I do is I kind of, I blend out the edges because I don't want that kind of setting too much. So I just kind of blend the inner corner and edges a little bit. So instead of like blending it all in, um, like I usually do, I actually just blend it in a little bit, like, where the, like I said, the edges and stuff. And I'll leave most of the product just kind of sitting there, just under the eyes. And it kind of sets it in place so that when I do finish blending it, a lot of the products kind of set in and it doesn't take the coverage away and it hides the purple tones and things more than if you just went straight in off the bat and blended it through. So while the concealer set, I'm going to go do my brows and I'll be right back, hun. Okay guys, so I've done my brows. I'm just going to go back in and just finish blending out the concealer before I like set it in place with the powder. So guys, next I like to set my concealer with a pressed powder. If you guys like using loose powder, then you do you. I'm just going to go in with my Eclipse Blur Powder Packed in the shade 21. And I'm just basically pressing this in with a dry beauty sponge under the eyes and kind of in that triangle shape. Um, I like to make sure that I'm just pressing it into the skin. I don't really like baking because it dries out the skin and the under eye area. So I just use a little bit and I just press underneath the eyes and literally this is so foolproof. My under eyes literally just stay not creased. Like they just stay so seamless. It's so good. Then I just grab a little bit of that product and I just start pressing it on top of my breakouts. So it sets the concealer in place and also creates a little bit more coverage to that area. If you have like a powder foundation, then use that um, over your breakouts because it'll help create a bit more coverage to them and set them in place as well. I don't have a powder foundation, so I just use my pressed powder. But in saying that, guys, don't use too much because you'll create that cakey, cakiness to the breakout and it'll be so obvious that you've got just product sitting all on the face. So just a little bit will do. So finally to lock all of the products on our face in place, I'm just going to go in with my Urban Decay setting spray and just do a few spritzes of that. And that's just going to help lock it all in. So I just went in like bronze and everything, but before I, I finished up the face, I just wanted to like show you guys with highlight. I like to do this in a few videos just so you guys know like 
if you are using liquid highlighters like cream highlighters powder highlights they are going to accentuate the texture on your skin so just keep in mind if you are using highlighter just try and place it on the very high point of your skin if you have breakouts there but probably not use it just use it on places you don't really have texture or breakouts so that it doesn't really like I said accentuate it and use mattifying products like a mattifying bronzer contour whatever you guys use just so that it doesn't highlight the things that you don't want it to highlight because we can tend to get more breakouts around this part of our area of our face rather than like you know others so that's just a little tip to keep in mind I'm just going to go in with my Violet Voss highlighting trio for highlighting today and apply the shade Moon Gleam to the high points of the cheekbones and nose as well and of course I always love to just give a good old highlight to the cupids though. I don't know. I find my lips just look bigger when I do it. That's why I just love giving the old cupids bow a bit of a, a bit of attention. <laughs> See how I've only hit the high points of my cheekbones, so it's not too intense. It's a little bit of something there. It doesn't any accentuate any texture that I have. It's all good. So basically, guys, this actually like wraps up today's look. So it's super easy to achieve, there's nothing really much to it, what am I saying? So yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did find it helpful make sure to give it a big thumbs up, if you have any ideas or requests for more videos let me know down below in the comment section and if you have you know any helpful tips for other people watching this video leave them down below as well, I like to have a community kind of people sharing ideas and you know helpful tips that they've learnt in the comment section just so other people can learn you know from each other so guys this video has been pre-filmed so I'll leave my social medias up here so you guys can you know um, follow me if you want I'll be currently traveling around Greece or Croatia one of the two so if you guys would like to leave a comment down below I'm not ignoring you I'll just reply back when I can Otherwise, guys, this wraps up today's video. I, thought, I hope you found it, you know, like a good idea. Like, it was kind of fun to watch, like, all the tips that I've learned in a year, like, from last year to this year. Like, just different ways how I apply the kind of similar products, but just in a better way, I feel. Anyway, I'll wrap it up now, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.